Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, I think we need to do some upgrading here, actually. Because if we were going to get to the moon, I think we're going to need... We have two active contracts right now. This will give us another five, which will be useful. And then tracking station upgrade required for flight planning. Wait, what? Wait, so I need to upgrade this to do flight planning? Or is that saying that I get flight planning as well? I don't know. Let's just upgrade that. It's quite a bit of money there. So, I guess now I can actually plan out my flights? Um, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do that exactly. What does it say? Here, let's read this one more time. What is that? Tracking station upgrade required for flight planning. Tracking station, that's this. Upgrade required for flight planning. So I have to... I'm not really sure. Hmm. Who knows? This doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And I think I need to have to actually have a ship out here. Maybe? Because uh, I can't seem to do anything. This... This doesn't help me at all. Hmm. I have no idea. Oh well. Uh, I guess we'll just go back to the hangar. And uh, I think we might... Do we need to s design a new ship or... Because we're probably going to try and get to the moon. In fact, what was our... Active contracts. Let's check that real quick. What contracts do we have out right now? Alright, let's see. Test the M Mark 16 parachute in flight over Kerbin. So, oh god, we've got to be over Kerbin flying at that altitude. Oh my god. Okay, that's a tough one. And then this one wants me to test this solid fuel booster in flight over Kerbin. So, oh shit, we actually can fail and lose money. Is that new? Or has that always been there? I don't remember that. I think that's new. Oh shit. Alright, well, um, so we have to be at 21 to 30,000. We have to be going 400 to 900 meters per second. Oh god, these are so annoying. <laughs> I just want to go to the moon. If only it was simple. Alright, well, let's go to the hangar and let's see what kind of ships we have. I can't remember. We've got the Icarus 4, which costs us 13,000. <clears> so this has... which boosters are these? Whoops. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. How would... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Here, let's just reload it. Cancel. Don't save. Okay, load. What boosters are these? Engines, boosters, these are the hammers. So this is the one that we have the uh, the thing for. And then the Mark 16 parachute. Let's see, Mark 16 parachute, which one is that again? Mark 16, okay, that's the big one on the top. Oh dear god. So why is the staging all jacked up? Did I, did I do this? I think I messed this up. Because this should not be down here. Oh, god damn. Okay, well, I think this must have been the one that we were using. Because the other one we have... Oh, I didn't want to launch. Crap. I misclicked. Go back. Recover. Revert. Alright. <clears throat> I want to see what the other one we have looks like. So this one has... That's right. This one has the four on the bottom. And then the small one's on top. Okay, well, we won't use this one. We'll use this one. Because this one costs less, and I think it was more efficient anyways. So, we're going to need to restage this. Because I think we're going to try and test these boosters. Let's see. So we want this to go... We want this to go... And do we want this to go at the same time? I don't know, actually. Let's go ahead and make a new one, and we'll move this up over here, so this will fire off, and then these, okay, no, we don't want that. We want these to fire off, and then they'll decouple, and then this will decouple. Alright, yeah, that looks fine. In fact, yeah, that should be fine. That should be alright. Okay, well, shall we, let's go ahead and save this, and then I guess we can launch give ourselves a test flight here. 
Oh man, I can't remember. Did we do this last time? It's been a while since that last episode. I can't remember if I did this or not. But, uh, okay, what was the conditions? So, we've got two things here. We're going to need to get to 21,000 meters. And then we'll have to be at 400 meters per second. And then we can use these boosters. I don't know if we'll be able to get that fast. And if we can't do that, then on our way back down... Oh, shit, this is going to be tough. Okay, are you ready, Jebediah? Are you good to go? Here we go. Three, two, one, launch. Oh, shit. I don't remember how much fuel that we were allowing. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if we had these limited or not. Well, it seems to be doing fine. Are we locked in? Okay, we're locked in. Um, how fast are we going? Okay, so we need to be... We need to be going 400 meters per second. And we need to get up to 21,000. This is going to take a while. We're almost out of fuel. Actually, wait a minute. The ones on the sides are burning faster than the one in the middle. These are not all the same. Maybe I should change that. Okay, well, we're starting to list to the left here. But I think we'll be fine. Alright, we're now at 8,000 meters... Still got a ways to go. Can we make it to 21,000 with this rocket? I don't know. Okay, it's a couple. And then we'll finish burning off the last of this fuel. Oh, shit, we're going pretty fast. We, w we don't want to go any faster than this, so I think once this runs out, we'll decouple. And then we'll just drift here for a little bit. Because as soon as... Oh, shit. Boom! Did we do it? Or am I going too fast? I'm not sure. But we're now going to the side. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um, here, let's throttle down the main engine. Save that fuel for later. And, uh... Oh god, did we... I don't think we did this right. Are we doing this? I mean, all of these are checked, right? So, I think we should be fine. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Damn it. I should have activated it when these were all checked. I got confused. Oh, son of a bitch. We screwed up. Now we're too high. And we're going too fast. We might be able to salvage this, though. We, if we can just test this parachute. That's all we need to do. Oh, wait. What's going on with my parachutes? They're red. Does that mean they can't be activated? Is that That's new, obviously. All right. 42,000. Uh, we're going way too fast. Let's check our traje trajectory here. Oh shit. Alright, so now that I have flight pan f a flight planning, does that mean I can like plot a point? No? What the hell? How do I do this? I don't know. Maybe we don't have it. Maybe I have to actually do something. I don't know. I have to figure it out. Alright. Let's uh let's see, how far are we from landing here? Pretty far. Oh, how do I focus back on this? Oh shit, how do I how do I focus on this the ship? No? I want to look at the ship, damn it. Hello? Ship? Shit. Uh, whatever. I don't want to focus on Kerbin. I want to focus on the ship, please. No? Oh, damn, okay, fine. Well, we're starting to slow down. Um, so how fast do we need to be going? Under 700. Under 700 at 19,000 meters. Okay, let's speed this up. Speed this up. Make sure we're in the right direction here. Okay. So, we're now descending. Once we reach 19,000... Oh, God. We're going to be going way too fast. That's the only problem. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's just revert. This has been a disaster. We need to do this over. Alright. Here we are again. Back in this predic predicament here. Okay, so, 500 meters per second. Maybe we should do a little bit of throttling up here. How fast do we need to be going? Under 700. Okay. So, I think we do need to go a little bit further down. Careful. Whoa, we're starting to wobble. Why are we wobbling? I don't like that wobble. Okay. Let's start speeding up here. Slow ourselves down. Quickly. We're almost where we need to be. 
And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Shit, we're almost there. There. I did it. But we were below the goddamn altitude level. Son of a bitch. God damn it. That's so annoying. Man, I hate that we have to be at a certain altitude and be going a certain speed. Oh my god, that's just so annoying. Whatever. We got one done at least. Holy shit. Man, forget these parachute contracts. Oh god, well, hopefully our other parachute doesn't break. Wait a minute. We didn't even deploy the fucking parachute. What the hell? I smashed that space bar a hundred times and it didn't deploy. What the hell's going on? Oh shit. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, well, let's uh, reorientate ourselves here. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, are we safe to deploy? It's safe. Oh, my God. We're going, like, sideways here. Son of a bitch, man. I was really hoping we could have uh, finished that science experiment. Or not science experiment, but that contract. Oh, well. At least we got the boosters done. It's a little bit of money. Oh shit. Slow down. Oh, oh god. Are we good? We don't need to deploy our backup chute? Oh. Oh shit. Some shit's exploding. Uh, I guess we need to redo our science ex experiments here. Keep data. Observe goo. Observe goo. There we go. Keep data. Alright. We're back, guys. We're almost home. On Kerbal. Come on. We've still got a ways to go, actually. Let's speed this up. We... Oh, God. Slow down. Oh, Jesus Christ! Are we good? Is everyone still alive? Fuck me. I hate that. Why does that do that? Why does that blow up every time we land? Oh, well. Alright, let us... Uh... How do we recover this again? Shit. I can't remember. Resume flight. How do I... I can't remember how I... Uh... End the flight. <laughs> How do I end the flight? Resume flight, space center. Okay, I guess we can just go to the space center. What the hell? I'm having a, a brain fart here. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to recover my freaking flight, please. Icarus 4. What? Okay, recover. There. That's all I wanted to do. What the hell is this? What is this? Okay, next. Next. Done. What in the world? Location area BS2 Gamma... What is all this? This is new. Is this, this is where my uh, space station is, right? Weird. This must be new. This wasn't on here a minute ago. Huh. Oh well. Anyways. Damn it. Well, we've got one contract completed. So we got some stuff. And now we have uh, room for more contracts. I guess we do need to pick up some. I want to do this fly by the moon. We just need to, uh... Oh, God. Fly by the moon. Expires in two days. Do you think we could do this? Or should we accept some different contracts? I don't know. I feel like we're ready. If we can just build a rocket that's powerful enough. Okay, let's just go ahead and accept it. Whatever. There. So what are the uh, conditions here? Fly by the moon. All I have to do is fly by it. I don't even have to survive. I don't even have to make it back. Or do I? I guess I don't, do I? Okay, fine. We'll do that. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll try at least. Oh shit. Oh my god, I forgot. I can actually move around in this view. Sweet. Well... Back to the space station, I guess. How much money do we have left? How much... Oh, shit, I wasn't paying attention. How much money do we have? We made some money, right? Yeah, we have 256000 Okie dokie. So, we need to build a rocket that can get out of orbit and then into the moon's orbit. I don't think we want to do a manned flight, really. Because if we do a manned flight, we'll have to get him back. And I don't think we're ready for that. I think we can maybe get to the moon, but getting back? That doesn't seem like something that we're going to be able to do. So, 
Let's just go ahead and get rid of all this. In fact, do we want to even use this template, or should we use something else? Icarus 3, maybe? I don't know, I think that has too many, too many boosters. Well, shit. What can we do here? What other engines do we have? We got this... Oh, I thought we had a poodle engine, but I guess not. How much science do we have? Maybe we can do some more research. Maybe we can unlock some new stuff. We have 66 science points. Let's see, that's... Yeah, here we go. So, advanced rocketry gives us the poodle engine. And another dif different type of fuel tank here. And then for 45, we can get some different decouplers and fuselages. Not sure what the hell this thing is meant for. Oh, I don't know. Or, jet engines and shit. We can make a space plane. We can make, I think this is more space plane stuff. And then what's this? Space exploration, hitchhiker storage container, and miniaturization hell some docking stuff oh my god okay and then battery packs illuminators oh shit okay well I think we probably want to go with advanced rocketry which will then lead us to propulsion fuel and heavy rocketry which we could probably use because I think we want these poodle engines or I guess this is a terrier engine because this is better in space I think. I don't know. Alright, let's research. For 45 science. And now we have 21 left over. So it's going to be a while before we can research anything else. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, uh, I guess we need to make a rocket for the moon. If that's going to be possible. I don't know. Okay, well, let's go ahead and load up Icarus 4. We'll start with Icarus 4. And we'll get rid of this. All this can go. And then we'll start... I think we want this thing... Hmm, not a, actually, I don't know. We can't really attach this very well. And now we've got this Terrier engine and Thud engine. What is this for? I don't know. This can be attached radially, but I don't know what we'd want to put it on. I guess, like, our final stage, maybe? How much? What does it take? What kind of fuel? How do I tell? Right mouse button. Liquid fuel. Alright, so... And these take solid fuel, right? Yeah, I thought so. Hmm. Well, max thrust in a vacuum is 120. Max thrust in a vacuum... 60. And these are... 215. Well, how do I tell how much uh, fuel it consumes? Engine ISP. God, I don't know. Liquid fuel. Oh, there we go. Liquid fuel, 6 a second, 1 a second, 3 a second. But how do I... And a lot less oxidizer. So this one uses the least amount of fuel, but it only has... It can only thrust half as much. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think we definitely want one of these. We're going to want one of these. Um, oh, shit. How do I... Oh, this is annoying. Okay, we're going to have to attach everything to this thing here. I don't have any, like, structural... Oh, God. I kind of need that weird... Large to small piece. I don't really have any way of attaching this. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I have to put it directly to a, a thing of fuel? Or I don't even have a decoupler for this thing. How am I going to get this to work? Service bay. Hmm. No, that's not going to work. I guess I could attach it to a science module. Shit. Well, or just do a normal fuel tank. How many of these do you think we need? What will suffice to get us to the moon? Because all we have to do is break out of orbit and then get ourselves into a trajectory to intercept the moon's orbit. 
So I guess I'll try something like this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hell to do. This is weird. And then we can try and attach this to this, I guess? Because how far did this get us? Would this have gotten us out of the atmosphere, I wonder? I don't know. So we got the poodle engine here. We're going to need some parachutes. Well, actually, we don't need parachutes. Since this is unmanned, it's just going to end up getting stuck in space anyways. So yeah, we'll have these all launch. And then that will decouple. This will decouple. This will launch. And then these will launch. And then decouple, decouple, and launch. Okay. So we're all set up there. Let's go ahead and rename this. This is no longer the Icarus at all. Since this is unmanned. Icarus is always manned. This is going to have to be something else. This one, since we're, this is going to the moon, so... And... I don't know, what should we call this one? What should we call this one? We've got Icarus... Maybe, like... I don't know. Hmm... Hmm... I can't think. My creative juices aren't flowing right now. Not Icarus. I don't know, I can't think. Oh well. Whatever. We'll just call it the, uh, like the tin can for now. Tin can. There. Just so we know that it's something different. Okay. Tin can. Save. Launch. Hopefully we can get this thing out of orbit into the moon. I don't know. This is going to be test flight number one. Alright. Ready? Here we go. Oh shit, we don't have any SAS because uh, this is unmanned. Which means we're going to have to do all of this manually. Alright. Let's uh, go into here. Now, I wonder... Shit, where are we? Where the hell are we on the map? We probably should have waited. Oh shit, I can see the moon already. <laughs> we're going right towards it. Well, that's convenient. Because we're going to have to, like... I don't know, this is going to be awkward. Where are we? Why can't I see us? We're not even on the map. What the hell? What the hell? Is it because it's a probe? Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Why is this like this? Oh well. Okay. Oh shit, we're still... Oh, we've wasted fuel. Precious fuel has been wasted. Okay, let's turn this all the way down. Let the boosters carry us hopefully out of orbit. Holy shit, what was that? We just like went past a smoke cloud. Oh god. Well, I don't know how the hell we're going to get to the moon without being able to see ourselves on the map. <laughs> Unless I try to eyeball it, which is never going to work. This is really weird. Alright, and... Turn on that liquid fuel. Get rid of those. And then just keep going straight. Okay. So far, so good. I think we can probably throttle down a little bit. <clears throat> we don't need to burn so much of our fuel. As long as we're gaining speed, we should be fine. Oh, I really wish I had an SAS module. Okay. What the hell? Why aren't we on the map? Is this because we're... It must be because we're a probe. And I had no idea that this would be the case. Because this is not good. I don't know how we're supposed to be able to navigate like this. I mean, what the hell? Contract complete. Probe. Burnout time. What the shit? Why can't I see my trajectory? Why do they change this? This is so weird. What do I have to do? Does this mean I have to send a manned vehicle? I hope not. I mean, I just wonder how far we can get out. If I, like, throttle up. I mean, we could probably go for a really long time <laughs> with this fuel, and then we've got our secondary fuel source here with an even better engine. Uh, well, I mean, I can't even tell if I've escaped orbit. That's the problem. Like, how far do I need to go? Where am I? Is this a glitch, or is this how it's supposed to be? I have no clue. Oh, dear. Because I can't really... Well, I guess I can throttle down. I can go to the space center. Maybe I can see it from the space center. I hope. Alright. Observation. 
area here. What the shit? Where's my probe? Hey, look, there it is. What in the world? Look at all this debris. Icarus debris, recover. Tin can. Tin can debris. Tin can debris. Okay, well, I can actually see what's going on now. I don't know why I couldn't see it from the, uh, the probe itself. That's strange. And I don't think I can actually... plot its course, either. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just want to be able to go to the moon, damn it. Just want to fly by the moon. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we need to fly this baby. At least we can go back to the space center and see our progress. Let's continue throttling up. I think as long as we're throttling up and gaining speed, we should be breaking orbit. Oh! Oh, thank God, I can actually see this shit now. What the hell was that all about? Okay, I still can't plot points, which is annoying. I I guess I need to upgrade my, uh, my thing, my observation thing. It's annoying. All right, we need to speed up. We're not going nearly fast enough. Speed up. Whoa. Let's try to get ourselves centered here on this yellow dot. Right in the middle. Try not to move at all. There we go. Okay. Now, as soon as this thing breaks orbit... Oh, we're, we can't even do this at all. I just want to see if this rocket's now capable of breaking out of the Earth's orbit. Because we're going to need to be able to break out of the orbit and then maneuver into the moons. Or somehow use the orbit of the Earth to slingshot ourselves into trajectory with the moon. Holy shit, that sounds really complicated, though. <laughs> I don't think we're ready for that kind of next-level shit. Oh, and I realize now I can actually steer this thing with the nav ball, or I thought I could. I guess I can't. It's annoying. Wait, what? I can't... Oh, we're out of fuel. We finally ran out of fuel. Alright. Here we go. Let's fire off the poodle. Little poodler. Okay, let's line ourselves back up again. Carefully. Slowly. Alright. Whoops. A little bit over. A little bit over. Come on. Center. Oh, this is tough without an SAS. This is really tough. It's really hard to stay straight. But we're, we're still going, at least. Alright, have we broken orbit? How far are we? We have a long ways to go. Holy shit. We really need to be able to break the orbit. I think if we had been going around this way, if instead of going straight out we went at an angle, maybe it would have been easier. I don't know. Or if we had somehow used... Oh, that's right. I remember what we need to do. Or no. No, maybe not. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. We're going, like, way off course now. Why the hell are we drifting so much? Holy shit. This thing is impossible to control. Oh, my God. But look at it go. This poodle engine, pretty nice. At least we know it works. At least we know this setup kind of works. We just need to somehow be able to put an SAS on it and be able to plot points. Unless we are able to do that, we'll never be able to get to the moon. But we are moving, like, really far. I think we'll, if we can just reach orbit, reach the orbit of the moon, at least then we'll know that we're capable. Oh, shit. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. Look at it go. Look at it go. Come on, you can do it. Okay, yeah, I think we've, we've definitely done it. How far do I have to go to actually break the orbit, I wonder? We oh my god, look at it go. It just goes faster and faster and faster until finally... Boom! I've broken it. I am out of the orbit. Holy shit. Well, I think I still am, actually. Okay, well, we know now. We can do it. Let's revert this flight. Oh, I guess I can't revert the flight because we went to the space center. Shit. What have I done? What have I done? Oh no. <laughs> We've lost our ship. What a waste of money. 
How much did that cost? I don't think it cost that much. It was unmanned, so... But still, holy shit. I guess we need to recover things now if we can. Because I can't recover this, unfortunately. There's no way... And is this debris not back yet? Nope. Damn it. Well, I guess it's uh, going to come back eventually. <laughs> it looks like it is. Who knows? It's just going to be the probe that continues going forever and ever. Okay. Well, that's cool. Now we know. We can actually get to the moon. The only thing is we're missing something. See, now this says tracking station upgrade required for flight planning. So does that mean if I upgrade the tracking station, I will get flight planning as well as patched conics visible in map? I certainly hope so, because I don't want to spend 150 big ones on nothing. In fact, let me go ahead and save. No, I don't want to quick save. I want to save over... No, I don't want to quick save. I want to... I want to just do a normal save. I guess we'll just quick save as YouTube quick one, whatever. There. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Boom. Does that now mean flight planning available? Oh! Oh my god. It was that simple. All I had to do, all I had to do was upgrade my tracking station. And now I can plan my flights. Holy shit, and I can do it while they're actually out there. God, that's awesome. That's what we need. Now we can be like... at this point... Oh shit, what's going on here? The hell? <laughs> oh shit! I see. This is the, the large orbit map. Oh my god. Look at these planets that we can visit. Holy shit, let's just go back. So our ship is going to break out, and then who knows? Who the hell knows what's going to happen after that? Anyways, um, so we can just be like, at this point... Wait, how do I... Come on. Boom. No, it's not working. Do I have to right-click? No? I don't know. Maybe I can do it. Why does it keep... It... Oh, shit, I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. I don't need to do this. Come on. Let's go back. Space Center. Oh, Alright. That's awesome. We figured it out. And now I know. Oh, shit. Well, next time, with this newfound knowledge, we'll probably be able to get our probe to the moon and uh, get that contract completed, and then holy shit, who knows what'll happen after that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you next time.